focus on singles rather than considering the the bigger platform of, of the album. Single video, single video, that's like the, the model. And I would say, you know, I asked somebody, oh, is it pretty big, do they have a record out? They're like, no. Right now in 2019 and going forward, the, uh, the market has become very track based, uh, mainly because of the prevalence of playlists on Spotify and Apple and other streaming services. So, so yeah, really at the moment we're living in quite a single dominated market, but I think there's still a huge argument to be made for the validity of the album as a piece of work and as a piece of art. And you know, for for big fans, they like to have something that they can that they can really get their teeth into. Maybe a physical copy of vinyl that they can hold, that they can play. Um, so it's a bit of both. Um, single tracks are really important, but so are bigger pieces of work. It's really difficult because I look after a band called Tights, who are a punk band, and we started releasing their music in uh, two, I think it was March 2017 and their album is only going to come out in 2020 because you have to build up a fan base so like you know there's no point releasing an album straight away when you've got four fans so you almost have to record more music now than you ever had to before releasing the debut album like we've had three eps that have come out we've had like you know a standalone single that's come out and that's like that is about 13 songs already right so that's an album essentially but the album will only have two of those songs on it. So before the debut album comes out, and when we've got the debut album, we'll have got 25 songs out in the world. And that's just how difficult it is to build a fan base these days because you're fighting against so many other people. So you, yeah, singles are, are really important. EPs are really important, but don't release your album until you know that there's people gonna buy it. Again, I think it depends. And everyone now is like, oh, it's all singles. And it's, yes, it's singles, but I think to have a, con like a concept EP, that gets a really strong decision to make because again you can weave in your story and who you are and what you really stand for alongside that. Everything can be done if you have a strategy behind it. I think it does really come down to the, 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 the creative intent of the artist. I think that the singles, the single track economy so-called is obviously a very very big part of our commercial future and I think that's a good thing um, to the extent that an artist can spend many months even into in, into a second year just working one track as it builds organically over multiple platforms the idea of that happening focus on a really great quality single track rather than puking out loads of indifferent stuff is is positive because it's because it's 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 qualitative qualitatively driven i beg your pardon i think that's important um, however to deny the right or the capacity of an artist to build a bigger body of work should they want to I think is wrong also um, I'm from an age in which the culture of the album is is vitally important the idea of performing a body of songs and, and, and representing that on a record seems to me to be the logical way of doing it in much the same way as paintings usually look good you know within a two-dimensional frame uh, doesn't mean you should only do it that way. I think I think it should it should really be driven by the the, the creative source in the first instance, and then harnessed by the business um, in order to accommodate what the artist wants. Um.